Hello, my name is Maria Miller. In this video I want to show you how to do percents with mental math. I feel it is important because it gets to the concept of percent and so children and students cannot just do these using formulas alone but they have to use their understanding of percent. And we will use two starting points mainly which is that 10% is the same as 1 10. And so we can find 10% of any number by dividing by 10. And 1% is 1 hundredth, which is the definition of percent, of course. And so 1% of any number is the same as divide that number by 100. Here's some easy examples. For example, 10% of 70. We divide by 10, so it is 70 divided by 10 is 7. 10% of $6, divide this by 10, and you get 60 cents, or, or 0 0.60. 10% of 13.2 kilograms, we divide by 10, and there is a little shortcut for dividing by 10, which is that you move the decimal point one step. And so you move the decimal point here, and it becomes one point. 32 kilograms. All right, and then similarly with 1%, 1% 1 of 720 meters, we divide by 100 or, you, or move the decimal point. The decimal point is here, it's not written originally, but it will move two steps on here, and we get 7.20 meters. Now 1% of $5, similarly, there would be the decimal point here, and it moves two steps, and we get 0 0.05 dollars, which is 5 cents. 5 cents, or 0 0.05 dollars. And lastly, 1% of this kind of decimal number, 12.75, we divide by 100, so the decimal point moves here, just in front, we need to add a 0, then we get 0 0.1275. If this was a real money amount in store, you would have to round it, so it would, would become 30 cents. Let's look at some examples now. First, we will find 20% of 90. And to find that, we find first 10% of 90, which is just 90 divided by 10 on 9. And 20% of 90 is double that, double 9, which is 80. 30% of $15. First, we will find 10% of $15 and then multiply that by 3. 10% of $15 is $150. And 3 times that is $450. On this side, 5% of 260. We could find 1% of 260 and then multiply that number by 5. But we can also find 10% first and then half that. 10% of 260 is just 26. And then half of that is 13. So that is the answer. And here's another one 15% of 23,000 square kilometers. We will find 10%, and then we will find 5% and add those. Now, 10% of this number is 2,300. And 5% of this number is half of that, or 1,150. And then we have to add to get 3,450 square kilometers. And lastly, we'll go through some examples that you'll often see in math books and in real life. Let's say you're in a store and something is on sale. 30% off of the real price, which is $18.90. And uh, one way to do this is to calculate the 30% and then subtract. But you can also just directly find 70% of the price, and that's what remains of the price. That's the same price. And uh, this is a difficult number to deal with mentally, but if you're in a store, you probably just want to find an estimate, an approximate price. So we'll do that will estimate that this is actually about $20, okay? And we'll take 10% of this, which is 2. And 7 times that, which is 14. 
So the sale price is $14. Another example of a rent which is going up by 5%. What's the new rent? The original rent is $311 and we'll find first 10% of it. 10% of this is 31.1 or 31.10 and half of that will be the 5%. Half of that is 15.55 or so and the new rent will be then old rent plus that. Okay, So we will get 326.55 or so. Here's an example of interest. Let's say you save on a child's account or something $2,000 on 6% simple interest. This is now we are calculating it with simple interest, not compound interest. And uh, we find 1% first. 1% of this amount is, you divide by 100, these two zeros go, it's going to be 20. $20. And then six times that gives you $120. And my last example is, let's say we have had a poll, you read about it in a newspaper maybe, and they say 23% of so many respondents said so and so, such and such. And how many respondents actually said that way? If you read it in a newspaper, this 23% is probably a rounded number already. So we're going to just estimate again. For mental math purposes, we need easy numbers to deal with. So we'll use 1,100 as the number of respondents and find 23% of that. Okay, first we'll find 10%. 10% of that number is 110. Then we'll find 20%, which is double that, 220. Then we'll find 1%. 1% of this number is just 11. And here's the 3, so we'll find 3%, which is 33. And now 23% of that number is we added the 20 and the 3%, or 220 and 33, to get 253 respondents. Oh, about wow. said that. 